of our elevated ability to cooperate will come when we encounter something other than ourselves. That's right, aliens. Swarm intelligence could well be the only way in the far future that we can compete with artificial intelligence. When we combine our collective brain power together, it will be like millions of incredibly powerful computers uniting to solve the world's most pressing problems. Like how to house refugees whose homes have been destroyed by war, or the effects of an increasingly warming planet. This is what swarm intelligence may look like in the future. Jess is telepathically swarming with other people around the world, trying to come up with a solution to a refugee crisis. But where are my manners? Let me slow this down again so your minds can process it. Really, this conversation happened in the blink of an eye. Another tsunami in less than a month. Not, Not to mention the hurricanes in North America. America. And the drought in Central Asia. Climate change is wreaking havoc in our cities. Millions of people have been displaced. We have to do something to help them. Can, Can we stabilize the climate? Eventually, yes. But, but in the meantime? These people need homes. What can we do? We redesign major cities. Relocate to other planets. Too, Too much time. time. There has to be an inexpensive and quick solution. Working together as a swarm, they're able to come up with a creative and fast solution to save the planet. We, we need mobility. Mobile. Inexpensive. Clean energy. That's it. This is the future of communication and cooperation. We've got the potential to harness a, a tremendously democratizing force, a planet-wide e-democracy, which would be awesome if we can manage to do it in a way that's safe. Swarms of doctors could find cures for diseases faster than they could alone. Swarms of engineers could invent machines and build structures no individual can imagine. The bigger and more connected the swarm, the more powerful it could be. But like anything powerful, there is a dark side to the swarm. As we all know, big groups of people sometimes get together and, you know, do really dumb things. The internet is already full of hackers and trolls. Now, imagine a global swarm of snooping hackers connected directly to your brain. As with everything, there's the technology and then the way that we use technology. Technology acts as a power amplifier, right? And so it is neither sort of inherently good nor bad. It is simply a tool that amplifies the desires of the individual or the institution. Part of our obligations as humans is to inject ourselves in the process. We have to learn from the mistakes we've made with past technologies and with past human interaction. Swarm intelligence is powerful, and we'll have to make sure that we use our massive new intelligence to unite humanity, not to oppress others. But the true test of our elevated ability to cooperate will come when we encounter something other than ourselves. That's right, aliens. Let's say one day we're scanning the heavens and we pick up a regular message. Not random noise, but a regular message. Ba, 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 something like that, right? That, of course, is gonna be earth-shaking. It certainly will be. How will we communicate with them? Understanding what extraterrestrials are doing in the skies above us will be a major test of our newfound communication skills. It may be the difference between survival and extinction. <laughs>